guys, Tabby here, and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell, I'm doing something a little bit different this month. Instead of doing two separate book box battle videos, I've decided to battle all four of my book box subscriptions in one video. That is right, we have four boxes to battle to find out which book box subscription is the ultimate champion for October. We're gonna be battling Fate Crates, which is their first time ever being unboxed on my channel, so yay. Shelf Love Crates, Owl Crates, and fairy loots. For this ultimate book box challenge, there are actually gonna be three rounds in which one box will be eliminated each round until we have our ultimate book box winner. So if you are interested to find out which box will win this ultimate challenge, keep watching and let's get into it. The first round will be between Fay Crate and Shelf Love Crate. But we're gonna start with Fay Crate first. Let's do a sneak peek. Oh, and we have tissue paper. <laughs> And right on top is the spoiler card. We will save this for last. So first we have a little black drawstring bag with Fae Crate on there. Ooh, let us see. Oh, it's a coin. So it says Fae Crate, established 2018, live a thousand lives together. And on the back it says three dark queens, all fair to be seen, two to devour, and one to be queen. This is from Three Dark Crowns, which I have read and I absolutely adore. I love the design with the crown and that quote. Oh, I am a big fan of these collector coins. Wow. Great start to the box. Next we have some chapstick. And you guys know I love me some chapstick. Fay Crate exclusive, Mira, Mira, frozen berries. But let's give it a smell. Ooh, it smells amazing. Ooh, I like this chapstick. It smells good, it feels good, and it tastes good. These boxes are just feeding into my chapstick addiction and I love it. And next we have a patch that says, true power does not force others to make themselves smaller. What is that from? <sighs> Rain the Earth patch. I'm not familiar with that. Patches are not my favorite item to get most of the time because I don't really have anything to actually put them on. Um, so I might put this in my giveaway box, but it's very pretty. I definitely like the quote on there though. And next we have some socks with like skulls on there. So they're like blue socks with skulls that says smile and bleed. That escalated quickly. What is this from? Bone Witch Socks. Again, I have not read that book, but I'm actually a really big fan of these socks. I get why they would put them in their October box. And next we have a pillowcase. Oh, and it's super soft. Good night, gentle friends. Good night. <gasps> This is off Nevernight. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just finished the whole Nevernight series. One of the best series ever. Jay Kristoff, genius, genius. Now, to be honest, white for a pillowcase isn't actually like my favorite, but I adore, I adore this pillowcase just because it's based off Nevernight. And I love the good night, gentle friends. <sighs> Such a good item. Next we have a Polaroid type art print and it says never, 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 I am never going to forget you. I have no idea what this is from, hold on. Darkest Minds Polaroid. I've actually never read that either, but that's a really cool art print. And I really like that it's shaped like a Polaroid, which is so old school, I love it. Kids these days probably don't even know what a Polaroid is. That makes me feel so old. <laughs> Next we have the author signature which we can put in the book. Oh, and then a letter from the author. That is cute. It says a demoness is what men call a goddess they cannot control. Ooh, okay. And last but not least, we have the book. Oh wait, there's another item. Wow, okay. Oh, it is a mouse pad with the art from our spoiler card. Whoa, hold the phone. I legit don't think I've ever gotten a mouse pad in a book box subscription. Wow, that is freaking awesome. Oh, I'm so putting that over there with my computer. First, look at this cover. The Never Tilting World by Ren Chupeco. Chupeco? 
Let me know how bad I butchered that. But it says, two sisters broke the world, two sisters will save it. That looks so cool. Let's see what it looks like without. So, just black and silver. So I am gonna go ahead and read the description, but as always, I'll put a timestamp down. The world split between day and night. Remarkable in beauty and fearsome in power. Generations of twin goddesses have long rolled Aeon. E is the A silent? Eon? Until 17 years ago, when one sister's betrayal defied, defied an ancient prophecy and split their world in two, the planet ceased to spin and three quarters of the world perished. Now, a great abyss divides the planet, one side cloaked in perpetual night, the other scorched beneath an unrelenting sun, while one sister rules Aranoth. A frozen city surrounded by a storm-wracked sea, her twin inhabits the sand-locked golden city. Each goddess has raised a daughter, and each goddess keeps her own secrets about the past. But when spectral forces summon these daughters to the site of the breaking, the two young goddesses, along with a powerful healer from Aranth, and a mouthy desert scavenger set out on separate journeys across treacherous wastelands desperate to heal their broken world no matter the sacrifice it demands okay i am beyond excited to read this mystery adventure I'm excited. So that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. It just talks about the book of the month, the free ebook download. Oh, that's cool. The photo challenge. So yes. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Definitely for me, the pillowcase was my absolute favorite item. I really like their collector's coin. I wonder if this is the item they do every single month. And if it is, that is awesome. So original. I have no other boxes doing this. So that is so cool. My least favorite item would probably be the iron on patch. Again, just because I don't really like getting iron-on patches in general, but again, it's a very cool design. I will put it in my giveaway box, but overall, I am very happy with my first ever box from Fay Crate, but now it is time to battle it against Shelf Love Crate. Sneak peek. Okay, well, again, the spoiler card isn't on top, so I guess I'm just gonna start looking at items. This is the first one. It says the Illuminae Files Bay 4. Oh, so it's like an art print, but it kind of looks like a movie poster. That is really cool. I do have the Illuminae books, but I have still not read them. I know, I just need to not sleep for like 24 hours and just read the books. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Definitely an art print to hang on the wall. So yeah, I like it. But this next item in the box, which I've already seen, is going to kill me. It is a Honey Dukes item. So it's like a popcorn holder and it says Honey Dukes Legendary Wizarding Sweet Shop. This is freaking awesome. And it has like the chocolate frogs on there and some candy. I think this will actually be an item I display in my kitchen on my counter. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Next we have like a massive item. I think it's a scarf. So we have a fish, a lion, bird down here, castle, we have a wolf, we have a three-headed dragon. Oh, that looks like Game of Thrones. We have the stag, a bear. Oh my gosh, this is Game of Thrones, hold on. Game of Thrones inspired scarf. Oh my gosh. Oh, the dragons and stag gave it away for me. This is the most gorgeous scarf ever. And you guys know I love Game of Thrones. There are no more words. I, I, it's, it's gorgeous. Next we have Be Wise, Be Brave, Be Tricky. I'm not sure what this is. Hold on. <laughs> Coraline inspired heat transfer. This cute as a button heat transfer design can be used on any t-shirt or tote bag and it gives you directions, thank God. Um, that is so cool. And I actually just recently re-watched Coraline. It had been so long since I've watched it, but it was so good. Oh, that is perfect for next Halloween. 
I will definitely put this on a shirt and wear it. Next we have our collectible chess pieces. Oh, this is Clary and Jace. I can see their little rune tattoos. Hold on, let me take them out. So we have Clary with her gorgeous red hair. And then we have Jace. These are so cute. I love the chess pieces from Shelf Love Crates. More to add to my collection. Next we have some little... Oh, it's Lord of the Rings. Hold on, what are these? Lord of the Rings inspired mug charms. Use these character wooden wine charms to keep track of which drink is yours. Oh, so we have Frodo, Gandalf, Legolas, Gimli, and Aragorn. These are so freaking cute. I honestly think I might put these on some of my coffee mugs because I have a thousand of them. That is such a cool item. And it's Lord of the Rings, which... Yes. And last but not least, we have the book. Let me take it out. It did come with a signed book plate and a bookmark with a shelf love crate on the back. The book this month is The Grace Year by Kim Leggett. Leggett. So this is the cover. I like the pink on there. That's pretty. Let's see what it looks like without. So just blue with a flower and then kind of a pinkish on the spine. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read the description. No one speaks of the grace year, it's forbidden. In Garner country, girls are told that they have the power to lure grown men from their beds to drive women mad with jealousy. They believe their very skin emits a powerful aphrodisiac, the potent essence of a girl on the edge of womanhood. That's why they're banished for their 16th year to release their magic into the wild so they can return purified and ready for marriage. But not all of them will make it home alive. 16-year-old Tierney... James dreams of a better life, a society that doesn't pit friend against friend or woman against woman. But as her own grace year draws near, she quickly realizes that it's just the brutal elements they must fear. It's not even the poachers in the woods, men who are waiting for a chance to grab one of the girls in order to make a fortune on the black market. Their greatest threat may very well be each other. With sharp, gritty prose, the grace year is a story of survival and freedom, about fighting for what's right, no matter the cost, and finding hope in the darkest of circumstances. Ooh, that does sound pretty good. Probably not a book I would have chosen myself, but I'm excited to read it. So guys, that was everything from Shelf Love Crate. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. We have the letter from the author. Then we have all of the items this month. Hold on, I think there's more than one. There are three posters. That is why you read the spoiler card. Okay, so this you saw, this is the first one. And then we have A Court of Mist and Fury. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. And then A Darker Shade of Magic, which I have read, which is awesome. I love these books. And it says, for some books we'd love to see on the big screen next. I would love them to make A Darker Shade of Magic and an Akatar series movie. I would, I'm just saying. Oh my gosh, I almost missed that, okay. The Photo Challenge. And then on the back is next is this month's theme actually, which is November, and it's reading the restricted section, which I am beyond excited for. It already sounds good. This box will be inspired by books that have been banned or labeled problematic. With the growth of the call-out culture, as named by the New York Times, we felt this box was needed to highlight important fic works of fiction that have helped shape our reading culture. Bandons include banned or challenged books such as Harry Potter, Twilight, The Handmaid's Tale, and more. Ooh, The Handmaid's Tale. I have never read that book, but the show... I cry like almost every single episode right there guys right in the heart and it says we ventured into the restriction section to have at kilo illustrator create a useful replica item from the pages of Harry Potter use it to hide your most dangerous secrets Ooh. That sounds good. So guys, that was everything from the box. As always, you'll have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Hands down, for me, the Game of Thrones scarf and Honey Duke's little popcorn holder are my absolute favorite items. These are awesome. The scarf, I mean, wow. Least favorite? Um, I don't really think I have a least favorite item. Such a strong box from Shelf Love Crates. So now we have seen the two box in the first round. Which box will make it to round number two? <sighs> These both were really good boxes. Oh, this is hard. 
because I definitely like the book more from Fake Rate. Just book wise, Fake Rate definitely won. Um, overall though, oh, I think I have to give it to Shelf Love Crate. I mean, this gorgeous scarf kind of just threw them over the top. Plus a Harry Potter item, which I am biased to. I completely admit it. You guys know it. I know it. I am biased if a box has Harry Potter items in there. I am sorry. It's just the truth. And these really cool movie posters. I mean, I just can't even right now. So yes, I am sorry, Fay Crate, but you are eliminated in the first round, which means Shelf Love Crate makes it to round two. That means it is going to battle Owl Crate. So let's get to Owl Crate. Sneak peek. Okay, the theme was Dawn of a New World. So spoiler card right on top. I like the sci-fi kind of vibes it's giving. And right on top we have, so I'm assuming this is a necklace. I like the little blue case it came in, but let's see what we got. Oh, it is a moon, oh my gosh. Fun fact about me, I love the moon. I actually have a tattoo of the moon on my back with stars and everything. So I absolutely love this and the design with like the sci-fi kind of touches in there. This is based off the Lunar Chronicles, which I'm actually reading right now still. I know, don't judge me. Um, but that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, owl crates. Great way to start the box. Next we have, oh, it's like a tin book. And it says, until the last star in the galaxy dies, you have me, Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. And on the back it says, live a life worth dying for. So it really is like a metal book and you can open it and keep items in there. And on the inside it says, you might get only one shot, so shoot. This is based off the Illuminae files. Oh, I have got to read that series. That is gorgeous. I love when we get book boxes. And so for this to be like made of 10, I am a big fan of this item. And next we have our monthly enamel pens, but it looks like we have two of them because we have two books in the box this month. So the first one is a heart and the second one looks like a radio with headset. For those who don't know, the enamel pins are based off the book in the box. Um, they're really pretty. Not my favorite that we've ever gotten. Um, I like the heart one a lot more than the radio one, but maybe once I read the books, I will understand and like them more. Um, but that is really cool. More to add to my collection. Next, we have a sticker, and it says, Everything science fiction until someone makes it science fact. Warcross. I honestly only really collect Harry Potter stickers, so... Not my favorite item, but still a very pretty sticker. Very reflective. And next we have some magnetic bookmarks, which you guys know I love. I'm not sure what these are based off though. It says the bookmarks are inspired by one of our favorite comic series of all time, Saga. I've honestly never really read comic books, but I will say they're definitely not my favorite that I've ever gotten, but still really cool. And we have the first book, which as always is an exclusive signed edition. And it did come with a letter from the author. And it is Crier's War by Nina Varela. I might have got that right. And it says, one mortal, one made, one loved, one betrayed. Look at the cover of this, guys. So gorgeous. I'm sorry I'm blinding you. It's so reflective. And it should be signed by the author. Yes, it is signed. Let's see what it looks like without... So just black with gold on the spine. Okay, I'm gonna read the description real fast. Impossible love between two girls, one human, one maid, a love that could birth a revolution. After the war of kinds ravaged the kingdom of Rabu, the auto maid designed to be the playthings of royals took over the estates of their owners and bent human race to their will. Now Ayla, a human servant rising in the ranks at the house of the sovereign dreams of avenging the death of her family by killing the sovereign's daughter, Lady Crier, Crier? Cryer, who was made to be beautiful, to be flawless, and to take over the work of her father. Cryer had been preparing to do just that, to inherit her father's rule over the land. But that was before she was betrothed to Sire Kinnock, who seems to have a thousand secrets. That was before she discovered her father isn't a benevolent as she thought. That was before she met Ayla, 
Set in a richly imaginative fantasy world, Nina's, Nina Varela's debut novel is a sweepingly romantic tale of love, loss, and revenge that grapples with what it really means to be human. Ooh, that sounds so good. Romance, mystery, kind of a sci-fi vibe as well. I cannot wait to read this. But we still have another book in the box. And it is an exclusive signed edition as well with another letter from the author. But this is I Hope You Get This Message by Farah Naz Rishi. So yeah, that's a cool cover. I like the green. Definitely giving me sci-fi vibes. Ooh, should be signed. Yes, there's the author's signature. Let's see what it looks like without. Ooh, okay. So it's kind of like a code like computer code or whatever. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna read the description real fast. Seven days, seven days, the earth might end in seven days. When news stations start reporting that earth has been contacted by a planet named Alma, the world is abuzz with rumors that the alien entity is giving civilization only a few days before they hit the kill switch. For high school truant, Jesse Hewitt, though nothing has ever felt permanent. Not the guys he hooks up with, not the jobs his underpaid mom works so hard to hold down. Life has dealt him one bad blow after another, so what does it matter if all ends now? Kate Collins, on the other hand, is desperate to use this time to find the father she's never met, the man she grew up hearing wild stories about, most of which she didn't believe. And then there's Adeem Khan. While coding and computer programming have always come easy to him, forgiveness doesn't. He can't seem to forgive his sister for leaving, even though it's his last chance. With only seven days to face the tr their truths and right their wrongs, Jesse, Kate, and Adeem's path collide, even as their worlds are pulled apart. That sounds really good as well. This definitely does seem a little more YA than this one, um, but they both sound really good. Guys, I honestly thought I was losing my mind because I could not find their monthly pamphlet, um, but they've actually made it digital instead of uh, printed, which is cool, I guess. I mean, I understand trying to preserve paper, um, but that means I don't have as much information about next month's box, but I do have their little card they include, and it says the theme of the November box is Through the Enchanted Forest, and it says flip for sneak peek. Every November box will include an exclusive reading planner in collaboration with Blue Star Press. Oh yes, I love getting reading planners, so I'm excited. But guys, that was everything from Owlcrate. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Hands down, the moon necklace and book tin were my favorite items. These were awesome. My least favorite item was probably be the sticker. Again, I'm probably gonna put this in my giveaway box. Um, the magnet and enamel pen aren't actually my favorite that I've ever gotten, but they're still really cool. But overall, a really good box. I love that we got two books in this box and they both sound really good. Um, but the question is, did Owl Crate beat Shelf Love Crate? This is actually really hard because I really did like these from Owl Crate and we got two books. But another part of me is like Shelf Love Crate, Shelf Love Crate, Shelf Love Crate. So I don't know. Okay, I, I just gotta go with what my mind keeps telling me, which is Shelf Love Crate. So, I am sorry, Owl Crate. You are eliminated in round two, which means Shelf Love Crate makes it to the final round, which means it'll battle Fairy Loots. So, let's do a sneak peek. Ooh, oh yeah, the theme for Fairy Loot was like vampire or something. Love at first bite. I'm already excited. And right on top we have, oh, it is a bat enamel pin. I'm actually a really big fan of that. That is so cute. Next we have a beanie and it says, bite me. I absolutely love this beanie. That is the perfect saying. Cause I actually say bite me a lot to my husband. This is definitely the beanie I'm gonna be wearing pretty much all this winter. And next we have a candle that says, My Last Sunrise, Blood Orange. I can't really read it, but something rosewood and something musk. I'm assuming this is the item based off Interview with a Vampire. And yes, yes it is. So let's smell it. And actually has some of the quotes from the movie in there. That is so cool. Oh, it smells so good. 
Ooh, ooh, I like it. Orange, I really love orange. Oh, give me anything with orange in it and I will love it. And we have a, another sticker that says, I like the night without the dark. We'd never see the stars by Stephanie Meyer. Oh, that's from Twilight. I don't remember that quote, but it's a really pretty sticker. Again, I would probably put it in my giveaway box or I might actually put it in one of my Twilight books. Probably probably put it in my book. I was obsessed with Twilight like almost every other female in the world. I was team Jacob, so. I like that they included Twilight. I feel like this box would not have been complete without a Twilight item, even though it's a sticker. Next we have Gothic Vampire four piece coaster set. Oh, okay. I have so many coasters, guys, so many. We have a rose and then a cup then a bat, and then a sword. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually not the biggest fan of these coasters. Not my favorite design for a coaster set. Um, the only time I would ever even think about using these would be around Halloween. But again, I have tons of coaster sets and we never use them. Um, we're just not a coaster family. So I will probably end up putting these in my giveaway box. So not my favorite item, unfortunately. But next we have, it is a book sleeve. And guys, it has a zipper. Oh my gosh, I don't have any book sleeves with zippers. That is awesome. And it says, there are darknesses in life and there are lights. And you are one of the lights, the light of all lights, Dracula. This would be the book sleeve I use the entire month of October. And I love that it has a zipper. That is awesome. I love this book sleeve. And next we have our monthly tarot cards. We have the Hierophant. I don't think I said that right. And the Two of Cups. They're gorgeous as always. More to add to my collection. And next we have the, oh, it's just an art print. Definitely not an art print that I would want to put on my wall, uh, but it's really pretty. Goes with the theme. And finally, we are to the book. As always, it came with a bookmark with the same design as our spoiler card. And we also have a letter from the author with an art print on the back. Ooh, giving me old timey vibes. And we also have, oh, it's a map. That is really cool. So I'm assuming this is kind of for the book. And the book is The Beautiful by Renee Ade. Ah. Addy, add that, that, that word right there, that one, that right there. But the sprayed edges, oh, those are so pretty. So it's just red sprayed edges, not shimmery or anything, but I love the red. It goes very well with the cover and it should be signed by the author. Yes, there it is. Let's see what it looks like without. So just black with red on the spine. Um, and we do have a reversible dust jacket art. We kind of get everything with fairy loot. So this is the reversible dust jacket art. That is pretty. Okay, I'm gonna read the description real fast. I'm, mine kind of got bent. In 1872, New Orleans is a city ruled by the dead, but to 17 year old Celine Rosu, it's a safe haven after she's forced to flee her life in Paris. Quickly enraptured by the vibrant city from its music to its extravagant soirees and even its danger, she soon becomes embroiled in the city's glitzy underworld and particularly the group known as, I'm going to butcher this, La Cour des Lions? Lions? Um, sure. But when a body is found in their lair, Celine is forced to battle her attraction for the group's enigma leader, Sebastian St. Germain, and suspicious about his guilt along with her own secrets. As more bodies are discovered, New Orleans becomes gripped by the terror of a serial killer on the loose, one who seems to have Celine in his sights. But when she finally takes matters into her own hands, she finds herself caught in between the mists of an age-old feud between the darkest creatures of the night, where the price of forbidden love is her life. So this kind of seems like a murder mystery type book, which 
definitely are not my favorite books to read. Like, I like that it has a little love interest in there, a little mystery, but the whole serial killer finding... Mm, not my favorite. So guys, if you've read this, let me know what you thought about it. Um, Cause it's definitely a book I probably would not have picked out myself. So guys, that was everything from the box. Let's take a quick look at this month's fairy scoop. We have the interview with the author. The read along starts November 11th. And next month's theme is magical folk. This theme is inspired by folk that have some sort of magical powers, fae, sorcerers, wizards. We had the best time working on all of the items for this box and cannot wait for you to see them. There are going to be seven in total, so it's jam-packed. You can expect the items in this box to be inspired by The Spin, The Dawn, that was such a good book, Harry Potter, Strange the Dreamer, Angel Fall, Fae in general, and more. And we are also thrilled to reveal that this box will have volume two of the collectible secret book design. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. But guys, that was it. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Um, definitely for me, the beanie and book sleeve were my absolute favorite items from this box. These are awesome. But I also really liked the candle and the bat pin. My least favorite item would probably be the gothic vampire coaster set they gave us. Um, definitely just not my favorite design wise. So guys, that was it. That was the last box in the ultimate book box challenge. So now it is between shelf love crate and fairy loot. This is really hard. <sighs> I really loved this book sleeve and beanie, but guys, I cannot get shelf love crate out of my head. It literally has just been screaming at me. So that means that shelf love crate is the ultimate book box winner for the month of October. But I will say, overall, the boxes this month were on point. I was not disappointed with any of these boxes. But as always, you guys will have to let me know, do you agree with my decision or do you think another box should have won? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. <laughs> Which means, oh, I don't know if I can do it. Well, I'm, and, um, ba -dum -bum 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 -bum. don't mess with me. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Oh, perpetual, wow, treacherous, across, treacherous, tres, treasure book will have wow okay <sighs> and it says oh i kind of <sighs> quick loop little kitty cat come here stop trying to eat my tripod come here fine I didn't want to love on you anyway. I can't even right now. Mm -hmm.